We were going over to a friend's house for dinner and I offered to make these delicious tacos inspired by a recipe for tacos al pastor. But first I had to make a chipotle sauce. Take two large tomatoes and simmer them in water with garlic and chili peppers. Then slice half an onion and fry that in a pan with a little bit of oil until soft. Place that in a blender with the tomatoes, it's nice to take the peels off, and a little bit of the cooking water, the garlic, and the chilies. Then I add a large tablespoon of chipotle and adobe and a large tablespoon of mayonnaise and blend that well. Add a little salt and pepper to taste, and now it's ready. This sauce is delicious. I gathered my ingredients and headed over to my friend's house. Hi, I'm Leilani. Welcome to my house out here in Amagansa, and I'm doing two of my favorite things, hanging out with a friend and learning something new. The first thing I wanted to make is green rice. It's basically rice, but it's green. You take handfuls of lettuce and cilantro, and you put that in a blender with two cups of water, and blend it so it's a puree. Then add one cup of rice, Bring the water to boil and pour in the rice and cook covered for 30 to 40 minutes on a simmer. Tacos El Pastor is usually made with beef or pork, but I'm using a meat substitute called seitan. First put oil in a pan, then add your chopped seitan, a little bit of broth from the package, some red hot chili pepper flakes, and saute till brown. Then open a can of pineapple and reserve the liquid. Chop that and add that to the sea tan. Stir that together with the sea tan and cook well, adding a little bit of juice, a pinch of cumin, and salt to taste. The kids came back from a hike and Leilani and I worked together to put together dinner for the kids and dinner for the adults. In the spirit of my combo meals, we used the same ingredients to put together two different dinners. Leilani put a light coating of flour on some chopped seitan and added some oil to a frying pan and sauteed that. Meanwhile, I sliced some onion thinly for our tacos. I was going to saute this in a little bit of olive oil and this will go on top of the tacos. Leilani cooked the seitan on both sides and then grated some cheese and we made quesadillas using corn tortillas. The kids would have quesadillas, seitan, and some broccoli. I'll come over and stole in some cheesy little cheese beef. I wanted to make a quick dish of refried beans, so I used the pan that I had fried the onions in and then added a can of pinto. Could you, hey Cassius, could you ask Davis and Skyler if they want carrots or broccoli as their vegetable? A secret. Davis, carrots or broccoli? Broccoli! Leilani chopped up the broccoli and put that in a pan with a little bit of water and steamed the broccoli. I mashed the pinto beans with the back of a spoon. I added salt and pepper to the beans to taste and Leilani put together the kids' dinner. The kids know that eating proper food will make them big and strong, and here they are showing off their muscles. Get mine! The rest of our friends arrived, and I still wanted to make one more thing. I wanted to make some roasted asparagus. Snap the bottom ends off of the asparagus to remove the tough part, and then drizzle with olive oil, a half a lemon, careful to catch the seeds with your fingers, and a little bit of salt. Put that in the oven at about 400 degrees and it should be done in about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we heated up some tortillas for the tacos. To assemble the taco, take a heated tortilla, then add the sea tan and pineapple, some sauteed onions, and that delicious chipotle sauce. I also added some fresh cilantro and sliced avocado. And then I added my green rice and refried beans and the roasted asparagus. We all sat down and had a wonderful dinner. And while the guys cleaned the kitchen, me and my girlfriend sat around and had a glass of wine.
I hope you enjoyed the show.